Good morning, Mishnah Berurah study for today, Monday, 22nd of June, chapter 27, Halacha, 4 Chav Zayin, Dalad. Lo yei davar chotzeitz bein tefillin lebsaro. You should not have anything, chotzeitz, blocking, I believe the technical word is interposition, uh, blocking between the tefillin and your flesh, your skin. Lo shna, that's the Mishnah Berurah, I'm just going to skip to the, the Shulchan Aruch, we'll come back to Mishnah Berurah. Lo shna shal yad. It's not different. It's the Aramaic f- form of shone, different. doesn't make a difference whether it's the hand to fill in, Losh Nashal Rosh doesn't make a difference whether it's the head to fill in. But Davka, the Ramos says, Davka but fillin. When it comes to the tfilin themselves, nothing should block between the head and the hand to fill in. Aval but but when it comes to the straps, Ein Lehakpid, do not uh, be strict. In other words, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the straps, about something coming between the tefillin and uh, your skin. So, for example, one of the things we'll see, what if you want to wear your watch? Do you have to take off your watch to put on your arm tefillin? The tefillin is going to go around your arm. The answer is no, you don't have to take off the watch. You can leave it on. Uh, because it's only a problem if you have an interposition, a chatzitza, chatzait, between the box of the tefillin and your skin, not between the straps. Mishnah Bura says, Lo yehei dichtiv. As the verse says, on your hand. So it's not uh, around your hand. right? So it says it has to be on your hand, not uh, on something that's on your hand. Directly on your hand. Between your eyes. In other words, again, directly on the skin, not with something in between. Something in between. Any Aramaic? Any amount. Hebrew would be kol shehu. Right? Any that it is, any amount. Venachon, and it is correct. Lehi zaher, to be careful. Lechachila, initially. Afilu bechinachaya, even with a live louse, right? So somebody who has lice in his hair. So he says, okay, so there's louse crawling around under my head, the villain doesn't make a difference. No, uh, that does make a difference. Chaya, laugh. Sheloyehe mafstik banat fin labasa, that it doesn't. Uh, come in between the tefillin and the flesh. And uh, certainly a dead louse or dirt, you should be careful. Now, again, with modern hygiene, these are less uh, pressing questions, but uh, we, you know, this is still what's injured. It's good, it's good to know what the halakha is and uh, see some applications, and they do become relevant. You know, when uh, somebody's uh, heard about Rabbi Zamir at war in Lebanon, you know, so he's still putting on tefillin every day, even though he's... Uh, around living in a village for, for two weeks. So these can become much more relevant. Therefore, some have the custom to wash the place of putting on the tefillin. It's written in the book Revid HaZahav. It seems to me that this, that sometimes the strap, that sometimes the fact that the strap uh, it blocks between, lefamim sometimes, uh, between the tefillin and your flesh. Lo mikri, this is not Aramaic, called, this is not considered a chatzitza block. Demin bemino eino a type with its type does not block. In other words, the straps can't block the tefillin. So let's say the strap got caught underneath the tefillin or something like that. He says, the, the straps are not preventing your tefillin from touching you. The straps are your tefillin. So to say straps are blocking the tefillin doesn't make sense. Uh, however, with the Malbushe Srad that I quoted earlier above, that it is appropriate initially in the first place to be strict with this. So in other words, that you should uh, actually try to make sure that the tefillin doesn't actually block itself. Losh Nashal Roshan makes no difference. Should not have no chatzitza, whether we're talking about the head villain or the arm to villain. Kata Basefa Machtira Shekel. It says in the book of Machtira Shekel. The Ra Alai Hamai say. And it is bad upon me, the action. In other words, I am not happy with this. Shall Otananashim, these people. Shemagadlin Blorotehen. That they are growing. Blorotehen, basically what it means is. Um, hair on top, that they have these big, uh, they make, a, they, they grow big, their hair on top of their head, they puff it up. Apart from the fact that it is a way of uh, arrogance 
and uh, haughtiness. Ayin mashikatu biyoradeya. It's not such a good thing. You know, to that such a big deal is made of your physical appearance. Yesh bezei isur banachat filin. There is a prohibition when it comes to putting on tefillin. De uh, kevan that sins, de gedolin harbe they are very big. Leka Aramaic there is not. Leka uh, lemeimar there is not lemeimar to say. Bahu about them there is not to say about them. In other words, you cannot say about them. Leka lemeimar bahu there is not to say about them. Hainu rivitaihu this is the way that they grow. In other words, normally we wouldn't say your fact that you have hair on your head is a chatzit. So no, because the fact you have hair on your head, that's how your hair grows. That's absolutely normal. But when you have puffed up and done this whole extra thing about the hair, that is not the normal way the hair grows. But chotas in there, it will be an interposition. Uvalav chatzit tsunami, even without the problem of interposition, beshvil hani sa'arot rubin, because of these uh, many hairs, because there's so much hair over here, if Charlotte some same it is impossible to be precise uh, that they should be fastened and in placed on their uh, on their place correctly kadin according to the law so there's two, three problems with growing your hair in this fancy way number one it's viewed as a lack of humility or modesty it's viewed as an arrogant a uh, haughty way to present oneself. Number two, it actually blocks between the tefillin and your head. And number three, uh, even if it doesn't block, you're not putting your tefillin on properly because you're not fastening them tightly. Ain um, However, when it comes to the straps, you don't need to be strict about it. However, the achronim, the later sages wrote, you should not lehakel to be lenient. Only, right, ain rak, don't, only, in other words, uh, don't accept. You should only be lenient in the place of the krichot, the wrappings. Avamasha But what relates to the tying? You should be careful even with the rikriot, even with the straps. In other words, the place where you're actually fastening it onto your body, there you should be careful with the straps as well. It's only where you are uh, wrapping it around your arm and your hand that you don't need to worry about things being on your arm. Bain shal yad, bain shal rosh. Whether it's the hand fill in or the head to fill in, and the place where you're actually attaching it should be, um, it should be directly on your on your body. The katvu tochachat mugula mugule, and he wrote a tochacha rebuke mugula open, an open rebuke, open or revealed. Al hamanichin to fill in al gabe peya nochrit regarding those who put on to fill in on top of peya nochrit. Peya means hair, nochrit means foreign. What's foreign hair? It's talking about a toupee. So if somebody puts tefillin over their toupee, so I come to shul, I'm going bald, I come to shul with my toupee on, and I don't want to take off my toupee for tefillin, so I put the tefillin on top of my toupee. Okay? Even if I'm just putting the straps on the toupee, but the actual tefillin I'm putting directly on my, uh, on my bald skull, but the, the, the rest of the straps go, nah, it's no good, it doesn't, uh, doesn't do the trick. Mikol makom, nevertheless, mashma mitivra magen avram v'chaya adam. It is implied from the words of the chaya adam, magen avram and the chaya adam. Dini yesh lo makaburosho that if he has a wound on his head, v'rak v'makom sharetzuot munachim v'lo b'makom etzitza. Only the wound is only in the place where the straps go, uh, not in the place of the uh, of the etzitza, not where I'm actually going to put on the tefillin. Mutar lo lahani acharetzuot al gabe smart kitin. It is permissible to put the straps over the bandages. She'al hamaka on the wounds. Afal or al gabe kova duck or on a hat. Duck means meaning fine or thin. So over a kind of thin hat. So the idea again that I have this wound around the area of my head uh, or my or my arm. So the actual box of the tefillin goes in the right place, but then the straps are going to go on top of the bandages. Okay, that's all right. But that's because you've got a wound and you've got no other choice. You can say the brocha, even though there is a chatzitza amongst the uh, straps. Since in the place of the box itself, there is no chatzitza. 
וכן בשל יד, אם יש לו מכה, אפילו במקום היקף הקשר של סביב ידו, and so to with a hand fillin, even if there is a wound, even in the place of היקף הקשר, the surrounding of the, um, uh, surrounding of the knot that is around the hand, מותר לו להניח היקף הקשר על גבי סמרטוט אינו לברך. It is permissible for him to place the um, surrounding knot on the bandages and to say the bracha. ואך בזה ייזהר לחסות מלמעלה כדי שיתקיים לך לאות ולא לאחרים לאות. However, with this, you should be careful uh, to cover it above in order to fulfill that it should be assigned to you and not assigned to others. Um, we'll see more on this later, but the idea is that your arm to fill in, the box of your arm to fill in, should always be covered. That's something private between you and Hashem. So again, ideally, no, in terms of halakha, has to be from the tefillin onto your body. Exactly. Body can include the hair, but not fancy hair. Number two, the straps should be, when you attach them to your body, should be with nothing uh, blocking as well. The straps where you're just doing the wrappings, there you can have something that's not such a problem. Okay, halakha number five. Adam shu alul le nizilut. Uh, a person who is liable to... And nizilut is a strange word. The Mishnah Bura will define us for us, in, for, for us in, a, in a second. So a person who has this nizilut. And if we will say to him, you need to put the tefillah of your head directly on your flesh, then he won't put them on at all. So it's going to be some kind of problem that prevents him from putting his tefillin on directly. We should permit law to him to put his head to fill in on a thin hat, again, over some kind of bandage or head covering, close to the head, but you should cover them from other people. We'll see why that is as well. And the Ramor says, However, if somebody is putting it on in this way, don't say bracha on the head to fill in. Only say the bracha on the shalyad of lehaniach. What is this nizilut? Uh, Mishnah Bura says, Alul Nizirut, Parish. The explanation is, Sheyesh lo machov, he has an injury, or mechush, or literally a worry, uh, some kind of uh, pain, barosho on his head. Vim yagale rosho yazik lo hakrivut. And if he will uh, reveal, uncover his head, he will have coldness. You have a person with some kind of medical condition that he actually cannot expose his head to the air. Kevin Shu Anus Yacholis Moch Ala Rashba, since he is Anus, we've had that word, forced beyond, beyond his control, right? Since this is a factor that is beyond his control, he can rely on the Rashba, the Spirale, Spirale thinks to him, he holds, the Ein Chashash Berachitza that there is no concern with a interposition. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go directly on. It's a minority opinion. We don't usually rely on this. But in such a case, we can. And the Rashba says, when the Torah tells us to put it between your eyes, what it was telling you is this is the place, to designate, uh, telling us the place, not telling us that it has to be directly on your body. Now worried about the fact that it's going to be displayed to the world, uh, that it must be for your son or for others. Leka, there is not with granting to fill in of the head. We don't worry about that. About them, it is written, on the contrary, all the nations of the land, in other words, all of the, uh, all of the nations of the world, will see the name of Hashem is called upon you. So he's asking the question, why must you cover these head to fill in? Shouldn't this be something we should proudly display to the entire world? Nevertheless, you need to cover up from, the, uh, from those who see. They do not know that he is forced, that it's beyond his control. 
Uh, in, in the other words, the problem here is one of maritime. If people see me putting tzitzit on top of my kippah, on top of this cap, on top of whatever it is, they'll think that that's an acceptable way to put on tefillin. The truth is it's not an acceptable way to put on tefillin. It's a minority opinion we only rely on an emergency. And therefore, if you do this, you must do it in a way that nobody else sees what you're doing. Tefillin shall rush. Oh, you put the tefillin shall rush above it. Vim ein lo maka biyad, b'mako manachat ha And if he does not have a wound on his hand and the place where he's putting on the uh, the box. Sorry, if he has a wound on his hand or the place where he put on the box and this wound spreads uh, through his entire keyboard, uh, through the entire area of around his bicep where he's putting on the tefillin. He is allowed to put on to the bandage again uh, if lo sagilo if it's not sufficient. In other words, if there's no other way for him to do it. Again, you don't say the bracha, but just as it applies to the head to fill in, for compelling reasons, we'll put it over a small bandage for the hand to fill in. The opinion of most of the poskim, the chatzitza poselet, that a chatzitza posels, uh, negates, cancels, makes it no good. So therefore, in deference to the authorities who say it doesn't work, we won't say any bracha on the hand to fill in. In deference to the Rashba, it says that it does, so we'll put it on. But we won't say the brachot on that. We'll only say the brachot on the head to fill in. Kedle el, as we saw above. Ach yobash ala tefila shal yad milamala beger acher kedai lachsotam. However, you should put over your hand to fill in above another article of uh, clothing in order to cover them. Ta'akativ buhu, because it says about them, vayalachalot, it'll be a sign for you. V'darshinan, as we see, lachalot, v'lo lacherim lot, a sign for you, not for others. Vidavka alaritia, and this is only when you're putting it on the bandage. But to put tefillin over your shirt, right? So you say, well, okay, the bandage is one thing, right? But I'm actually going to put tefillin on top of my whole shirt. Yesh umrim, some say, the asur afilu beyesh lomaka. Some say it's forbidden even if he has a wound. And even if you'll cover it up with something else, you can't do that. Tefillin do not go on top of your clothes, that's for sure. A koiva duck coming back to the head to fill in. I have this thin cap over which I'm putting my head to fill in when I have some problem uh, um, uh, bearing my head. Aval koiva ava asulanicham, but over a thick cap, over a coarse cap, right? Some kind of heavier material, I can't do it. Dalo yuchal lechavenu letzamtein makom shamuach shel tinok rofeis, because you are not able to align and to be precise about the place where the skull of a child uh, is soft, right? The fontanelle, the place where the upper limit of our tefillin go, you can't see that if you've got a, if you've got a, if you've got a, a harder material on and therefore you're going to end up putting them in the wrong place. So you can only do it with a soft cap. Rak yabarech. Now, you, if you're putting on the head tefillin, you don't say a bracha on that. Uh, you say the bracha on the arm tefillin, v'yachavin lo hatsi ha rosh. And you have intention that this will cover the head tefillin as well. Because the truth is, without this, the opinion of many of the poskim of the Alachic authorities, that we only say one bracha on both of them. Take a look at the Bach and the Ola Tamid, they, they imply it is appropriate to be careful. At the very least, uh, at the time that I'm saying the Shema, that I'm davening, it should be without an interposition at all. In other words, I can't have my tefillin bear on my head the whole of davening for this medical condition, but I can have it on for some of the time. Okay, so do it for some of the time. Do it for the Shema and Amidah. So what we learned today is, it's important there shouldn't be any interposition between the tefillin and your body. That certainly applies to the boxes. Ideally applies to the straps. And uh, when you're wrapping it around, the straps will be fastened when you're wrapping it around, not a big deal. Uh, however, if somebody is unable to put even the boxes directly on the skin for some kind of medical condition, then you would put it with a thin cover in between with some kind of bandage or cap. But uh, that's not ideal, and we'll do that without a bracha. And if you can, at least for some part of it, have it directly on your flesh. That is much better.